All right, it's time to be positive, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens. It's all right. me on a Monday. Let me positive. Woo! Your doggies. Our white friends. Yahoo! Come on. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. No negativity. Let's be positive. LBP. LBP. Let's be positive. LBP with TMG, that's Twizel's Matt Gunn. We've got Justin Marshall about 10 minutes away or so. And Gunny, roses are red, violets are blue. I think your doggies make the eight. What about you? Oh, look, forget about all the reports, Canberra. Big players missing. Half-strength team. We did it all. We looked good all that. Pre-season, you've got to remember, pre-season for years we've been rubbish. And during the regular season, but at least... For 2023, we came out. Josh Reynolds back in the squad. Apparently, literally frothing at the mouth. Yes. Before the game. Yes. Frothing at the mouth. When I read that, I thought, wow, the boys are back together. Because if the Bulldogs aren't frothing at the mouth, well, what are they doing? Well, passing the bun around in Coffs Harbour. I'm allowed to go back to that? No. No, that's a bit of a dark, dark chapter in the club's history, isn't it? Oh, mm, 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 mm. no, we don't go there. Okay, we don't, we don't go, go back there. that far. Okay, we don't right. go back that far. It's pre-season, right. Matt. I know it's only pre-season, but I warbled long last week about the West Tigers, the powerful West Tigers fronting up against the Warriors and getting an absolute slap as well. Do you know what it is, though, mate? Part of this is that we don't get the NRL rammed down our, our neck every second day. We get it as a comp, then it goes away, and then we miss it, and then it comes back. Rugby, are you listening? Yeah, I've got, to, I've got to agree 100% is that off-season. It's nice to have a little bit of an off-season. Now, I know you can get into it as deep as you want if you want to search for it and go and find the news and then go over the players that you've lost and bring in the players that you've gained and start to build yourself that way. But you have to go looking for it. Whereas here, it's just, it goes quiet. Yeah. And then you get to build up again. And look, I've been saying this for a long time. One of the things that did change the face of almost all sports is year-round competition and seasons not being defined. Yeah. And we're playing cricket and we've got rugby. We've got pre-season rugby. We're still playing cricket. People get confused. There's too much to see. You just want to break. And I think that that is the great thing about what the NRL does. Now, of course, we had the World Cup last year at the end of the game, which dragged which dragged rugby league further into 2022 than it would normally go. But even so, getting that pre-season win... Oh, uh, here we go. I know. Look, I just can't just, wait. See, this is the thing. I can't no, wait. See, look, and we're going to be disappointed and we're going to be miserable as we always are, but it's this time of year... There's the only time of the year that hope exists, and I'm going to ride that horse. I don't care what anyone says. Text has come in. Cam says, lads, any chance on asking Matt if he's going to be heading down to Lake Ruatanifa to watch the National Rowing Champs? Yes, you've been there, haven't you? I've been there. Um, well, I was down there about 7.30 this morning to check conditions. Got a few photos this morning of the warm-ups, and I've been following particularly, particularly the young Twizel squad, Martin, for the first time since I have been here, uh, there is a reasonably sized squad, seven or eight different crews. And not only that, my business partner, Cody Thorne, his young girl, 15-year-old, same age as my daughter, has got into a boat late last year. She's already been a representative netball player. But the last six months or so, she's teamed up from a young girl from a Marima just down the road. They've won the Canterbury Champs, the Otago Champs. They finished first in the Novice Girls Pair and the Intermediate Girls Pair, two 15-year-old girls. They're into semifinals this week. They've yeah. got a young crew, the Coxed Fours, the Novice Coxed Fours. They went straight through. We've had three straight through to the semis heat wins the, uh, this morning from this young Twizel group, which didn't, even, which didn't even row before six months ago. And uh, we've got a great coach down here now. It's just a magnificent event. There's about, I think I heard him say, eight to 900 rowers, 44 different clubs, 62 events. It's a massive, Brilliant. massive week down here. Started today, finishes on Saturday. So, right. yes, there is every chance that I've been down the rain. What I will say is that conditions 
have been a little bit windy this afternoon, become a little gusty. You've got some southerlies and a couple of crosswinds down there at the lake, and it's supposed to be very windy this week. So anyone who's really into the rowing, and it is live streaming on YouTube, Martin, and all the results on Row It, you can get onto the Row It website and watch it uh, updated almost immediately, the uh, the live scoring system. But on YouTube, uh, I think there'll be some time off the water this week with the wind. All right. It's time, and we've got to do it, and we're going to have to actually be honest about it. There is nothing that I find more amusing. Now, I was going to say I love Ricky Gervais, I love Bill Burr, but just belly laughing, burst out laughing, crying tears of joy, watching your bunch of fannies try and bat on Indian tracks. It's beautiful to watch. If any sports team in the world oh. needs it up in Mr. Mannering, it's you. Now, I know the White Ferns got pinked, and I know they got thrashed, and I know they got rolled bold result and bum shellacked. But let's discuss first watching Dum Dum Davy, Steve Smith going out in India, looking as bewildered as anybody that's actually ever gone out with a cricket ball before, wondering what the hell happened to her. Explain, Matt. This is Australia. This is the Aussies, the baggy green, mate. Yeah, Martin, I mean, what do you want me to say? Absolutely <laughs> roll bold and wrestle. I mean, when, 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 when a side only needs to bat once, you know you've been flogged. Yeah. And I knew this was coming, and I've really got nothing to say <laughs> apart from Go on. the thing that disgusts me most is the way that these Indian groundkeepers and officials doctor pictures. Go on. They doctor they cheat everything, them, mate. They, everything can. they do, mate. They cheat, yes. they ball yes. tamper, they do. Next thing you know, there'll be an underarm. Yeah. Look, I saw, I saw pictures of somebody even handing somebody something that looked like a bit of sandpaper, and I thought, well, you know. I mean, so what if it happens? Because it's happened before in Test cricket, hasn't it? What is it about your team? Actually, Robert, the Indian captain, was great. He said, look, me having these three spinners is like the Australian captain having Hazelwood and Cummins and Stark to choose from on Australian pitches. He said, that's all it is. That's all it is. Ah, well, you need spinners. You need spinners over there, don't you? They've always been game winners. Always been game winners. And... um, Oh, it's just, it, I don't want to talk about it. I knew it was coming. Liverpool won this morning. Yep. I thought it might be that. No, it's not going to be that. No. It's not going to be that. It's got to be the Australian cricket team. You asked me about the baggy green. The flaccid, soggy green <laughs> is the way I would describe. Hey, well, you know I what, I mean? what can I say, man? What can I say? That. Let's be positive about the white ferns. Tell me something positive about that. Oh, no, you got me now. <laughs> <laughs> what well, can you, well, can you, if you're the coach, what can you possibly say? I mean, what, if you say anything, you're going to be a bully, you know, so you can't criticise them. I mean, you know, what do you actually, I mean, watching the, our women go out today, you, you've got to ask yourself, have any of you played cricket? I mean, if just the most fundamental laws and, 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 and aspects to the game of holding a bat when you're facing a ball, because it didn't look like it when I was watching. No, it comes and goes, doesn't it, over the last few years? Look great, don't look so good. Mm. It's a little bit like being a Warriors fan. Yeah, come on, you've got to be honest. It's a bit like being a Dogs fan. Yeah. There are times when you just suck. What do you do? I can't get too upset about these things because the Doggies win pre-season. And, Martin, I haven't brought this up, but I went to the Kura races at New Year. Go on. Won a couple of races there. you there, go. Yep. Got a bonus bet. I got a bonus bet from the TAB the other week. I blindly picked a dollar. I, I, bl- I blindly picked a horse running in somewhere in Victoria, which paid $14. And it has set me up mate, for hang on a somebody's trying to break in. Hang on, mate. Just somebody's trying to break into the building. Hang on a sec there, mate. This is live radio. What, what the hell is going on out there? The ceiling tile came No, down. that's what the roof the collapsing again. Not in our building. Can't happen. Oh, we're having live... We're having live Cyclone Gabrielle in our studio as we speak, Matt. I thought somebody was breaking in. It's just another piece of the roof falling in, mate. We get that every second day, so don't worry about that. Keep going. Yeah. No, I was going to say, why would anyone want to break into your building? You had to leave for Wellington a, bit, a week or ten days ago. That would be the worst place to go. I mean, it's not a refuge yeah. set of your building. Well, I'm, I'm wondering how you're still broadcasting yeah, bring, this week. Bring your dry duvet in and sleep here tonight. Yeah, see what happens. 
How did you get a tradie to fix the building? Oh, crying out loud, I'm mate. Not, I mean, Rob, I'm, I'm not, not joking. Went... I'm not joking. We've had, we've had, no, listen, I'm not exaggerating here, am I, Lachlan? 12 separate visits, have we not? At least 12 separate visits since we moved in last July. And we've got a big bucket. I wish I could show you the live camera here, mate. We've got a big bucket outside my studio. The kitchen tiles are falling in. The bucket in the studio is as, is as high as your waist. That's full of water. The air conditioning unit fell through the ceiling last week. That's recollapsed itself all over the floor out there. Lachlan's carpet stinks like somebody's vomited on it last Friday night and no one's cleaned it, okay? I mean, this is... You know, this is where, dear leader, this is where we work, mate. But are we moaning uh, about it, Matt? Is he gonna, I'm being positive about it as well. Start a revolution. If you're going to start a revolution, you need it in a building that's mouldy and falling <laughs> in on itself. Lachlan told me the first time he walked in there, it stunk like mould. He said, I don't even know how someone hasn't dropped dead in here yet. And that was before the roof came in and you got flooded. So, look, I mean, the platform's just, it's flying high, Martin. Get Plunkett to spend a few dollars on the building. Safety, health and safety of the employees should be the number one priority. Let's finish with Valentine's Day because I know that you are a man of much romance at heart. You've been married now to beautiful Tracy for, what, 21, 20, no, 20 years, I think the anniversary was, wasn't it? Yeah, no, 21, together 25. And I have to say... I never forget these occasions anymore, Martin, because I've got a 14-year-old daughter who said to me on Saturday, as I've requested her to do these days, yes. remind me when something big's coming up so I don't forget. She said to me, do something for mum. Please do something for mum. I booked in lunch straight away. I thought, I'll do lunch, not dinner. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, in town. It I was up. in yeah, town it already. Up. Yeah, it I'd, been at the ro- I'd been at the rowing. I thought, I don't want to drive out of town and back in. Not, try- not trying to not be romantic, but I mean, you know, I don't want to drive into town too many times. Stay off the road if I can. So I went out to lunch, and how delightful it was. She had a big brekkie, and I had bolognese on toast with two fried eggs and parmesan cheese. Oh, oh mint mate. bacon. Go. Hey. And, and not only that, not only that, not only that, not only that Tracy sold the cafe some alcohol from Resurrection Distillery once we'd finished up our lunch. So we paid for our lunch with a couple of sales on the way out the door. That is romance, Mark. That is romance. Matt, thank you for that. Let's be positive. Normally on a Monday, Resurrection Distillery. Resurrection Distillery Facebook is the best way to get them. Buy some of the product and it helps us pay them. Oh, my goodness me. The Platform.